When the world was new, the sun and moon were alone. The morning stars shined on them as they lived their lives in a hut made of sticks disguised as children. They had no earthly belongings beside their small hut and the simple clothes they wore. One morning, the moon became full of sinful anger and ate the head of the sun. This plunged the world into darkness and left the people of the world lost and stumbling. religious ceremonies. Maybe we can ask the gods for help to bring back the light. Yes, he will certainly help us if we offer Tesquino. So the people made crosses from the wood of a redwood tree and soaked them in the corn alcohol beverage. After some time, the sun and moon began shining brightly from a place high in the sky. Sadly, while the people were celebrating the return of the light, a terrible flood came. Only two people, a boy and a girl, survived by running up the Lavashi Mountain. <laughs> Seated, the boy and girl came down from the mountain to the place where their village had been. There's nothing left. How are we to survive? Do not be afraid. I have some corn kernels and beans in my pocket. Maybe if we plant them, they will yield crops. It's worth a try. We don't have very many options at this point. But where should we plant them? The ground is so wet that the seeds may not be able to put down strong roots. Let's plant them here, on this rock. It is softened from the rain, enough to let the plants grow, but will give the roots something strong to hold on as they grow. That makes sense. Help me plant them. The girl and boy worked hard to plant the corn and beans. Then, once they were done, they fell asleep with the hope of healthy crops to eat when they woke up again. They slept for a long time, and as they dreamed, the crops began to grow.
said that this boy and girl are the two from whom the Tarahumara people are descended. The Tarahumara still use Tesquino in religious ceremonies and thanks for bringing back the light. This is the story of creation for the Tarahumara people. The end.